Mindset matters. So we've talked about positioning you as the business. We've talked about standing out. I call it distinction and difference. Otherwise, you're just one of the rest. Become a thought leader. Now, you know, you can't become a thought leader in something major. It's the Marks and Spencers example that I gave you earlier. But in your area, so the client I've worked with before on her Scottish buttons, she's becoming the thought leader on Scottish buttons. Remember? Inch wide, mile deep. She might go on to be an authority worldwide in buttons overall. Who knows? But she can't start off with that ideal. She has to narrow. Be yourself. Don't think of yourself as self-employed. I say to people, what do you do? I'm self-employed. I say, well, what does self-employed mean? Well, I run, um, I run a business advising people on their tax issues. So I say, oh, you run a business. Why do you say you're self-employed? What would you rather say? I'm self-employed? Actually, I run a business. I specialise in helping people with their personal tax issues, which is more interesting yeah. Yeah? to others and also to yourself. Or, or an SME, you know, oh, I run an SME. No, say what you do, what you're proud of, what you achieve for other people. Remember, limited edition concept. So you're not there for everybody, and if people want you, then there's a premium attached to it. So that means at times you may actually have to say no, like I gave you with my example after the Olympics. Um, offer really good service to your high uh, worth clients and uh, results, obviously, and you can then charge your premium fees.